everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Agreedit. So I hope like you people are preparing well for your ICR, PG and the PhD entrance exams and you might be revising well, you might be attending the mock test, you might be clarifying all your doubts and one very important thing during your preparation is again covering the general agriculture and current affairs. For this, one of the key important area is covering the agriculture schemes. So I am, that's why I'm here with this video where I'll be covering all the agriculture schemes in crisp where in the short period of time that is for just 15 to 20 minutes we will try to cover all the schemes and i will help you to remember these schemes very easily based on by categorizing this into different types so that there will be no confusion in rem remembering the dates and the benefit see like if you are reading for or preparing uh, the schemes like two important things that you have to prepare is like the year which is launched a date or month or year and the second one which is important like benefit or the highlights of the scheme so these two things are very much important so but since there are a lot of schemes remembering all the years and the benefits might be confusing so that's why i am with a different approach where i'll be categorizing this into the different types and then i'll be discussing the each one of the schemes which are related to these categories so let's get started okay the first one is the income support and the financial security it is about finance and the income so whenever it is regarding this category you have to remember two different schemes two important schemes one is like a salary scheme other one is like a pension scheme so i guess like many of you have already understood like what i mean to say so inside this salary scheme the scheme is like pm kisan so what is this pm kisan so this was launched in 2019 so according to the scheme or the full form of the scheme is samman nidhi yojana i write it in short form samman nidhi yojana pm kisan samman nidhi yojana so according to this scheme there will be total of 6000 per year that is distributed to the farmers but not overall at once but in three equal splits which is 2000 per split per quarter and this is like a month where it covers december to march four monthly and this is again april to august or april to july and next it is august to november so in a three month basis for every three months there will be sorry for every four months there will be 2000 rupees which is distributed to the farmers and all farmers can avail it not all farmers there are some exceptions very important exceptions for this so i have listed all the exceptions in the same pdf so you can read it later and if you need it you need this pdf and it is completely free for everyone which is watching this video so you have to do one thing that most of you already know it is filling the google form so once you fill the google form directly you'll be getting this pdf into your whatsapp so that will definitely help you for your revision okay so that's done so second thing regarding the pension which is a pension scheme which is mentioning about it is mandan yojana right pm kisan mandan yojana so according to the scheme farmer will get 3000 per month when when he attends the age of 60 so for this what should be done for this they have to pay a premium amount ranging from 55 to 200 rupees every month and this is eligible for the age of 18 to 40 years and plus very important this is for only small and marginal farmers who are having the land up to 2 hectare Okay, so this is eligible for these farmers. This is very much important. So when it was launched, and this is again in the 2019. So this is clear. It is 55 to 200, and it is for 18 to 40 years, and the pension will start from after 60 years. Okay, what if the farmer dies before the age of 60? If the farmer dies before the age of 60, who is actually paying this premium? There is a two options. One is their spouse can fill the remaining amount or the pay the remaining amount and take the pension later and if there is no spouse or the spouse is not willing to continue this uh, premium payment then they can get all the accumulated amount with interest this is one thing second thing what if the farmer dies after the age of 60 what happens then if the farmer dies after the age of 60 then 50 percent of it will be going to the spouse as a family pension okay so this is what you can remember rest what is most important it is regarding the launch year which is 2019 and it is 3000 per month and the premium amount ranges from 55 to 200 rupees again it is per month and the pension will start after the age of 60 so that's what you have to remember okay and also most importantly this is applicable for the small small and marginal farmers who are having the land up to two hectares that's it okay 
so these are the two important schemes whenever you see the category of income support and financial security the second thing the second thing is crop insurance and risk management so whenever you see the crop insurance and risk management which what is a very important thing that you have to remember there are again two schemes here so there are again two schemes here so the two important schemes here is one is fasal beam yojana and the second thing is kisan credit card so fasal beam yojana this was launched in 2016 kisan credit card was launched in 1998 if you remember so what is the highlight of this fasal beam yojana so fasal beam yojana the crop can be insured for a particular season by what percent like 1 2% of some insured and what is the premium it is like 2% of some insured for kharif food and oil seed crop and 1.5% of some insured for the rabi food and oil seed crop and 5% of some total sum insured that has to be been paid for the horticulture crops so this is regarding the premium amount that should be paid so this is regarding fasal beam yojana this was launched in 2016 next one it is kisan credit card so kisan credit card is a credit facility which is given to the farmers may to have their cultivation for particular season to, uh, to carry out the cultivation with a premium or subsidized interest amount of 4% so that's what you have to remember plus the launch year so these two things are related to the crop insurance and the risk management one is giving a loan second one is giving the insurance for their crop okay so these are the two different categories okay next one third the irrigation and the water management so here we have one very important scheme which is sinchai yojana you have to remember this pm kisan sinchai yojana so this was launched in the year 2015 where the objective is to provide the irrigation facility for the all agricultural lands so that's what you have to remember okay the next one is soil health and sustainable farming so for this category again there are two different important schemes which you have to remember one is soil health card and second one is paramparagat krishi vikas yojana so here this two again they are launched in 2015 so first thing that we have to remember and second thing let's talk about the soil health card so soil card what is it it is a card which has a detail information about the 12 parameters which are actually the nutrients for the crop growth the 12 parameters and this parameters include the micronutrients the macronutrients and the ph ec and oc so what is oc it is organic carbon rest you already know it and you can also make a list of what are the different macronutrients that are listed and what are the micronutrients which are available in the soil health card so this i have clearly mentioned in this pdf please make sure to know the 12 parameters that are present in this soil health card so what is the use of having the soil health card how the farmers will be benefited as you know like all the 12 parameters their composition in the soil will be mentioned this will help to make sure or to decide what percentage or what should be the fertilizer recommendation for that particular season for a specific crop so which will help to make a profitable cultivation so that's how it is helping so this is about the soil health card the second one paramparagat krishi vikas yojana so what is it exactly so it is organic farming encouragement that is given by government of india and this is provided for a group of farmers who are having minimum of 20 acres of land minimum of 20 acres of land and again 0.5 acres per farm and total group of farmers the minimum is 20 acres and within that every farmer should have minimum of 0.5 acres okay where the government of india is providing the guidance to carry out the organic farming practices so this is about the soil health and sustainable farming so that's done so we have successfully covered the four different categories and we have discussed very important schemes that are in the agriculture field okay next one the agriculture infrastructure and marketing so when it comes to the agriculture infrastructure and marketing again you have two different one so one is enam you might be already knowing this what is it so this was again launched in 2016 and next we have ac abc so what is ac abc i'll tell you so enam so what exactly it is it is like a digital platform digital marketplace where all the apmc mandis will be connected how it will help the farmers farmers can because of this uh, digital platforms what they can do they can trade or they can sell their cultivated products or the crops without having the cross border issues with the interstate 
they can also do it where they'll definitely get they, they will definitely have an opportunity to get the better price because they don't have any barriers on that they have to go to the local mendies and sell their produce okay so this is about ina next about ac abc so what is ac abc so again it has two different parts here ac ac is like agri clinics what is agri clinics just like doctor's clinic where patients used to go to the doctor and doctor will solve their problems similarly in case of agri clinics the farmers can directly get into the expert gu guidance from the agriculturists who are bsc agriculture graduates who can get the expert guidance and also solution for their problems related to the cultivation so this is the one thing and the second thing agri business centers what is this agri business centers this is again uh, encouragement from the government of india to open the ventures like uh, fertilizer comp shops uh, like seeds shops and the pesticides, pesticide shops, the processing plants, which will help the farmers to have the locally available inputs for their cultivation and which will also overall help in the profitability of agriculture. So, this is about the ABC, which is agri business centers, and first one is agri clinics, just like the doctor's clinic. Okay, and here it is by the BSc agriculture graduates. They have given the license where they can give the expert guidance and they can open their company and provide the expert guidance and the services to the farmers which will help the farming community okay and this is the fifth category okay the next we have other category which is like crop specific and allied activities in this there are several different schemes so for example we have national food security machine and we have national beekeeping machine and we have uh, rashtriya gokul machine so all this schemes i have mentioned this in the list of this pdf just go through it once okay that would be sufficient nothing much in detail the last part is technology research and extension so here again you have two different schemes that you have to remember one is atma and the second one is kcc okay so now kcc is not the kisan credit card so it is here the kisan what kisan call center and this was in the year 2004 and here I did not mention about AC ABC. So AC ABCs were launched in 2002. Okay. And Kisan call centers were in 2004. And what about this Atma? Atma is like agriculture technology management agency. So here the main objective of this Atma is to get the decentralized ex extension services. What does it mean? So it means that the extension services like the transfer of technology will be based on the location based on the de demand of that particular area based on that the plans will be made to spread the new technologies new informations to the farming community in a very simple words okay this is what it means and kisan call center it is like free services that is provided to the farming community to solve all their problems so that's what kisan call center means i hope i have simplified all the different schemes of the agriculture which were most important so I did not go in much detail of any of the schemes that's not required at this time but if you have already covered it it's well and good but if you have not yet covered anything about the schemes and covering this much is at least mandatory and once you see this video I know like you might not be able to remember everything no need to write it write down anything here directly you can take this pdfs and I can either you can take a printout of it or you can use this soft copy and prepare well for your exams and if you want us to pre uh, make videos on any other topics please let me know in the comment section Thank you so much for watching this video.